Let's learn different types of triangles. You can see three triangles are here. And you can see that these triangles look different. So let's see what is different here. In the first triangle, the one on the left hand side, you can see that the three sides are equal. And when the three sides are equal, the three angles are also equal. Such kind of triangle it's called as an equilateral triangle. Now I said that when the three sides are equal, the three angles are equal as well. Can we verify that? You can do a little experiment to verify this. This is what you can do. What you do is that you make two equilateral triangles. That means you make sure that all the three sides of that triangle are exactly of the same length and you make two copies of such triangle. You can keep the first triangle fixed and put the second triangle on top of it and you will see that it exactly fits the first one. So initially angle P will exactly fit into angle A. Now rotate the top triangle so that angle P comes on top of angle B and see if it exactly fits into B. Now you rotate again so that angle R comes on top of angle B and see if it exactly fits into B. If all the three angles like P, Q, R fit into B or A or C, that means the angles are exactly the same. So this is how you can do a small experiment and verify that all the three angles are equal. Now I said that all these three angles are equal, but we know that the angles of a triangle always sum to 180 degrees. How do we know that? We have done another experiment. You can check it in another video where we have seen that the sum of all the angles of a triangle always sum to 180 degrees. And since all the angles of an equilateral triangle are equal, let's divide 180 by 3 so that we understand that every angle is of 60 degrees. If you want, you can draw an equilateral triangle and measure the angles with a protractor. Now let's look at the second triangle. You can see that it has two equal sides and when the two sides are equal, there will be two equal angles. Such kind of triangle is called as an isosceles triangle. Again, you can verify that when the two sides are equal, the two angles are equal as well. How can you do that? Again, do a small experiment. You can draw an isosceles triangle. Make sure that the two sides are exactly the same and make two copies of such a triangle. Now what you can do is you can put one triangle on top of the other so that angle P fits into angle A and angle Q fits into angle B. Now what you do is you flip the top triangle. That means now angle R will fit into angle A and angle P will fit into angle C. If the triangles still fit into each other, that means you know that angle A and angle C are exactly of the same size. So this is how you can verify that in isosceles triangle, when the two sides are equal, the two angles are equal as well. Now let's look at the third triangle here. You can see that there are no equal sides. And when there are no equal sides, there are not going to be any equal angles. Such kind of a triangle is called as a scalene triangle. Scalene triangles do not have any equal sides or any equal angles. So these types of triangles tell us how many sides are equal. There are other types of triangles also. Now look at this triangle. You can see that all the angles of this triangle are acute. Acute means, that means they are less than 90 degrees. Such kind of triangles are called as acute triangles. Now here is another triangle. 
what do you see here you can see that this triangle has a right angle right angle means an angle that measures 90 degrees when a triangle has a right angle that triangle is called as a right triangle we said that it has a right angle can it have more than one right angle no why not because we know that the sum of the three angles of a triangle always equals 180 degrees one angle measures 90 degrees that means the remaining two angles will also measure 90 degrees because 90 plus 90 equals 180 so the remaining two angles together will measure 90 degrees that means there cannot be any other right angle other than the one we have seen now here is the next type you can see that this triangle has an obtuse angle obtuse means obtuse means an angle that measures more than 90 degrees such kind of triangle is called as an obtuse triangle again can there be more than one obtuse angle no there can be only one obtuse angle because all the angles of a triangle always sum to 180 degrees if one angle is more than 90 degrees then there cannot be any other angle that can be more than 90 degrees in a triangle so these are the three types based on the type of angles a triangle has now let's solve some examples here look at this triangle what type is this this is an obtuse triangle because we know that it has one obtuse angle which is 105 degrees now the next question is this that a triangle has three sides 3.5 centimeters 2.5 centimeters and 3.2 centimeters now you can see that all the three sides are of different length that means this is a scalene triangle now let's look at this triangle you can see that there is a right angle and you can also see that this angle has two equal sides that means this is a right triangle and it also looks like an isosceles triangle that means this is a right isosceles triangle what do we understand here we can combine two types of a triangle you can combine right and isosceles and you can call it as a right isosceles triangle 